My summer car is a game based in 1995's Finland, where you gotta survive in a world where TikTok does not exist yet. That doesn't sound that bad, right? Wrong. Since NPC streamers were not a thing then, the only way to pass time is by building your dad's old trash bucket car. The only catch is that you have to build it piece by piece by piece by piece with parts that have worn down to the point where a slightest bump would cause the car to combust into flames. There is no hand holding here. No tutorials, nothing. So unless you use the game's wiki or YouTube, you're basically left with figuring out how to do everything yourself. And in this video, I'm going to build the car, drive it, and hopefully not crash less than five minutes later. This is my summer car experience. As any my summer car veteran knows, your name is one of the most important things in this game. And primed with his knowledge, I named myself <laughs> and awoke in my room with a poster that strangely looks like Jesse Pinkman puking. No way! Jesse Pinkman went to the kitchen, disobeyed my parents, and pissed on the floor. Outside, I put a driver's seat in the Satsuma so that Uncle would spawn after a while, opened his present. Money and got in the tractor. Went to Timos to pick up some groceries. Scratched a car. That was close. I think my trailer crashed into that car, but I think it's going to be fine. And got rear-ended by a bus. Oh my fucking god. After I arrived to the shop, I grabbed sugar, yeast, and juice for killju. Some food, beer, and cigarettes. What sane person doesn't drink beer while driving? And essentials for the car. After that, I drove to a barn to grab some rims, which I would make the car fit rims for. In my opinion, it's better to get new tires than travel to the abandoned mansion. This is the this is the shed. Because the ones you get for free are worn down and would need to be replaced eventually. Plus, the rims from the barn look way better than the ones found in the mansion. That's what he's open. He was not. Okay, I'm gonna come back later then, with maybe Uncle's van. And so, I drove back home, rim still in my trailer, and my disappointment at an all-time high, hoping that the next time, I'll have my Uncle's van to make the next trip much faster. Back home, I pushed the car body into the garage and started building its frame. To those who are curious, I'm going to leave the tutorial I followed for the car build in the description. When putting in a disc brake, I accidentally pushed the car toward me, so I decided to try and push it back. I failed miserably and dented the car. What the fuck, bro? How the fuck did that dent my car? But this small problem didn't set me back. I continued working like nothing had happened, and while putting in the springs, I noticed that my fatigue bar was pretty high, so I decided to unpack my things and call it a day. What the fuck? Next morning, I turned off the lights and continued working on the car. Until I got a call from my grandma asking for fish. Oh my fucking god, fish. I don't want to go get fish for her. So I ate some food, got hydrated, took a piss, the shower, and set off to an island that has the cage used for fishing and some other good stuff that will be useful in the future. We have a ride. 
I'm not given any information that this house belongs to me, so I basically stole the cage, bucket for fermenting kilju, kettle, and the coffee mug. But I'm pretty sure no one will need these things, right? Yo! That shit just flipped. That's epic. I didn't really know where to place the fish trap at the time, so I just chucked it next to the boat. The cove time! After getting everything home, I started making kilju for this guy. Now, this guy loves some sugar wine, and he pays good money the stronger it is. From what I know, six bags of sugar and one yeast is the best, and this guy says so himself. Kilju is pretty much the best way to make money, and you barely have to do anything. Now that Kilju has been left to ferment, I went back to the garage to finish the frame and start working on the engine. And the engine's finished! Um, yeah, this took a while. And with the engine fully built, I end it Tuesday. The second I awoke, I rushed to the garage to lower the engine and finally work on the exterior. After lowering the engine, I decided to check if Uncle finally spawned with a van. Let's go, Uncle home. Now I can get these wheels repaired. Very cool. After I drove out of uncle's home, I decided to check on the fish, just to find I only caught one. So I took the cage and drove home to get the rims. The better fishing spot is actually really close to Futari, so by driving there to get the tires fitted and placing the cage in the better fishing spot, I would be killing two birds with one stone. Okay, there we are. At Fataris, I placed all the rims, and since I didn't have much money, I bought the normal street tires. They're better than nothing. After that was done, I went to the bridge with my fishing cage. From what I know, the spot catches the most fish. Because grandma pays more when you cook them, I went over to Timo's to grab some charcoal. And while approaching the store, I met these guys. I have no clue who they are, but one of them was a dick to me, so I flipped him off and somehow got punched while not being anywhere close to him. What the fuck? 
How the hell did he knock me out? So I awoke at the bus stop in the evening and since the shop was closed I went to the pub to check it out. When I saw a poker machine. Now I don't know a lick of finish nor did I really understand this game so I pretty much lost every single time I tried. And after losing a bunch of times I got a beer and that's pretty much it for the day. Okay, pause. Now, I kind of forgot to record the start of Thursday, so I'll just do a bit of editing magic and explain what happened until we get to the point where I continued recording. So after waking up, I went outside to see that the van had disappeared. This of course was really inconvenient, so I used the tractor to get to Flutari. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Back to normal gameplay. After finding out that Flutari is closed, again, I went back home to find that my kill Jew has finished fermenting. I don't hear no bubbling. So I checked the juice, filled the bottles, and since those six bottles weren't enough to empty the bucket, I still had enough kill Jew to make a second run in the future. After that, I went to get Uncle's van back, hoping it won't be gone tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entirety of Thursday. Pretty uneventful, honestly. Next morning, I woke up to complete darkness. After barely managing to find the light switch, I went outside to see that the van had been taken again. The van is fucking taken. So I went inside to pass some time since it was pitch black. And once it cleared up, I threw the kill jib in the tractor and began driving to the junk guy to make some money. After a little transaction was complete, I went to Futari to get my tires back, and after I loaded them in the tractor, I also decided to check how many fish I caught, which uh, wasn't that much. Oh, there's some fish. Because I basically gave up on catching more, I threw the fish in the tractor and went home. But on my way home, I got interrupted by the police. Hello. Since that was basically the first time I got stopped by those guys, I didn't really know what to do. Am I good? And because the officer was just standing there, not doing anything, I thought that I wasn't actually getting stopped and they were letting me through. I was wrong. They handed me a fine and for some reason kept chasing me. Dude. Now, once I hit the dirt roads, I shook them off, but because I was chased, I kept thinking that I might get in jail for that. Now, for those who don't know, jail in my summer car fucking sucks. Depending on your crime, you gotta sit in there for days doing nothing. And one in-game day, not counting sleep, is two hours. So I rushed home to pay the fines and basically became broke. And uh, yeah, that's basically what happened on Friday. Next morning, I once again woke up to absolute darkness. And once it started getting brighter, I took the wheels out of the tractor and put them on the Satsuma. I also started working on the engine bay of the car. until I got a call asking for firewood. This opened up an opportunity to make some money since I barely had any from yesterday. So I continued building the car with that phone call in mind.
After the engine bay was complete, I put in the interior. And after that was done, I worked on the exterior. Now, the doors were the biggest pin in the ass, since one of them kept falling off the car. The only way I managed to properly put it on is after I removed the fender and restarted the game. Apart from that, everything else went pretty smoothly. After I finished the exterior, I poured the oil into the engine, and since it was getting pretty late, I ended Saturday. After waking up, I went back to the garage and continued pouring in the liquids for the car. And with those done, I realigned the wheels, slightly tuned the engine, and started wiring, which was the last thing I needed to do to make this thing run. After that was done, I checked if the car turns on. And after showing signs of life, I also tuned the starter. But for some reason the car didn't want to start again. Now, through continuous Google searches, loss of brain cells, and potential development of cancer, I figured out that the problem was with the alternator. I have no clue to this day why it kept draining my batteries, but a faulty alternator didn't stop me from trying to drive this thing. But what did is me realizing that it's Sunday. Oh shit, it's Sunday. Not only was there a rally going on, which would make my driving really dangerous, I also couldn't get to Timos to refuel my car, since he was closed. So I decided to get the firewood for the dude who called me, and while driving towards the shed, I noticed Uncle sitting and drinking beers. He explained to me how he lost his license and that he's basically giving away his van to me. Only thing I needed to do is get to the car inspection place. After hearing that, I got to the shed and started chopping the wood, which was probably the most annoying thing I've done in this game yet, because it just did not want to work. The main way I managed to chop the wood was not with the axe, but with the wood holder. So yeah, that's pretty much how I chopped the logs, until it got dark and went to sleep, ending Sunday. After I woke up, I went back to the shed to finish chopping the wood. And after I filled the trailer with the chopped logs, I attached it to the tractor and went to sell it to the guy who requested it. Hey, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Once that was finished, I drove back home to grab the motorcycle and the jerry can. I was going to Timos to get some gas for the Satsuma and to grab the van that now belongs to me. Since I suck at driving the bike, here's a little montage of every time I crash on my way to Timos. Oh my god. Oh my god. When I arrived, I also picked up some food and some stuff to brew more Kilji in the future with. And also another battery, just in case I need it. Outside, I filled up the jerry can with gas. 
got the van, and went back home. There I refueled the Satsuma and ended Monday. This is the day where I get the Satsuma running. Let's remember how I started with it being completely disassembled to now it being able to be driven. At least somewhat. So I changed the battery, turned on the engine, and drove out. Driving this thing was fucking awesome. After working on it for hours, I finally managed to get it to a state where it could run and it was probably one of the most satisfying things I'd ever experienced in this game. So, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this long and difficult journey with me, building an old ass car. And if you want to see more of my summer car, where I work even more on the Satsuma, this time in repairs and upgrades, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe leave a comment to let me know what you thought about this video. Anyway, I'll see you later. Maybe.